little history on the raffles that we've done. Let's see. I think we have raffled off. We did uh, Melosi RC1 motor. And that one was. I don't think either one of them. Neither one of them were assembled. Anyways, $3,500 packages. We raffled off one of those RC1 motors one year. Uh, everything went really good. The second one, we did another RC1 motor. Again, we're, we're, how this works is we take the motor, we make a product listing, and then you can buy X amount of tickets online. So you buy these tickets online, and then we do a online live raffle via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and we put all the numbers in a bin, and those numbers correspond to your tickets. Get it on the bin, mix it up, pull one out, and that winner gets the motor. The buyer's, or the winner's responsible for the motor shipping, but he gets the motor for free. The second motor, unfortunately, the individual that won the motor was in Canada. Um, he won the motor, took it, and used it to help one of our competitors build parts. We will, however, allow people in Canada to participate that are already customers, of course. So if you're already a customer and you have an account with us, have history, by all means, join up. The third raffle was the RT50. Out of the RT50 we built in here, some of you may remember that. Not only did we donate the bike, we also donated three thousand dollars to uh, the local children's charity, which was pretty amazing. So every year we've done something different. All in all, we between the bikes and the motors, we've donated about fifteen thousand dollars worth of um, worth of stuff to people here. So this year, I think what we want to do, we may raffle this guy off. So a little bit about this bike. I purchased it from a buddy, John Crop, local here, who bought it brand new and had us originally do the work. So we've we've been working on this bike since it was brand new, straight from Honda. It's got how many miles? Thirteen hundred thirty miles. It's a 2018, and again, this is going to work just like the other ones. But I want to get your guys' input, take on it. Let me know if you think it's a good idea. If you'd rather us raffle off something else, however, that's not going to get raffled. That's not going to get raffled. The, the my two strokes aren't going anywhere but this bike has and bear with me because it's got a lot done and, and i'm gonna forget so it has the 170 coso cylinder kit the four valve coso head that we've had ported by mvs it's got the coso cam we have the coso throttle body hindle exhaust stainless hindle exhaust it's got the, uh, well, we had these custom stainless steel lines made with the oil cooler kit to keep it cool. It's got the Kitico, however you pronounce it, clutch cover, which allows for, it's got your viewing window and also has a changeable filter in here, which is really nice. And then you have fittings if you want to add an oil cooler or whatever, which we tapped it from the head. Um, so that's what this guy has on this side. We also, the charging system is from the OG Grom, which has a higher output. It has the man of the box, billet, um, swing arm system as well. We have the Taiga rear carbon um, tire hugger. We have the Racing Bros adjustable shock here. Man the box fender eliminator with the LED kit. We have the HRP bride seat on this guy. Composimo rear sets. We've got the Composimo bars. Olin's drop-ins. The wheels are actually OG wheels because they're better and they're lighter. So it's got the OG wheels on it, which are like new. We have brand new Michelin Pilot tires on it, which have maybe 50 miles or 100 miles. We have the scooter swap shop built sliders. NCY brake line on the front. Let's go around the other side because I'm probably gonna be forgetting things. Oh, it's got the um, um, grandfather's, yeah, grandfather's uh, billet spacers. Or the speed spacers or whatever those things i forget what they're called front and back on this side we've got the grandfather's um this little grandfather's breather kit which is really awesome it's like machined out on the inside to keep oil from going back into your tank this is a, a really 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 nice setup um works really well we have the coso timing chain tensioner in here and the third bearing support we have the taiga carbon Underbelly kit, it's wet because I gave it a hose down. Taiga underbelly carbon kit. Let's see. I went over the rear sets. Third bearing support. It has a hard racing, which you can't see, but it's a hard racing engine brace. It braces to the bottom there. And we have a coastal clutch as well. This bike has the A-Racer RC1 that also has a Bluetooth module. So of course it links up to your phone. You can tune it, change it, do whatever. Um, and then I, I have the, um, the DG1 display here as well.
Yeah, post below what you get, how much you guys think tickets should be, um, how long you think that, that the raffle should last, and if you guys think this is a good idea. We have we have a brand new buddy we could raffle. We have a rough house, but I think I'm gonna turn that into an off-road bike. We could raffle that. We have our off-road buddy here. I could raffle that bike. We've got this sweet Riva here with some body damage. You guys wouldn't want that, but we have some bikes here. I thought that one would, I thought that one would be the coolest. It's probably one of the highest valued bikes in here other than, than this one, of course, but that's not going anywhere. So post below, let me know what you guys think. Ticket prices, and uh, if you're interested or not, thanks for watching. Have a good day.